Hey everyone, my name is Tegan and welcome back to Tandy Writes. I have not done a review in a while of Jules Like as that was the content that this channel was centred on for so many years. But we are back with another review, it's of another advanced copy. This one is Those Who Drown by Amy Goldsmith. I will start this video by saying that I gave this book two stars on good reason. I ultimately did not like this book. But I have to say... I really wanted to like this book. I pre-ordered this book because I saw it on Goodreads, I fell in love with the description, I thought, you know, that's such a me book. I will pre-order it, I submitted my pre-order receipt to the author for like their pre-order goodies campaign, and now I have these. So we'll do a little haul to start this video, in a sense. First we have a sticker that is a, um, it's like a welcome aboard the cruise ship that this book is set on, quite cute, love it. Also the author wrote like this little note saying thank you for pre-ordering. And I have actually since cancelled my pre-order since reading the art because I disliked it that much. And I feel very bad about it. We also have, I believe this is the book plate sticker, and that's that's very intricate and beautiful and I love it. I wish I had details about the artists for these, because like this is this is gorgeous. I also think the romance in the book was very surface level and uninteresting, but this is beautiful. And I wish I knew who drew it. This one is of a trio of characters called the Influencers, and they have such immense bad energy from the start that you can tell that they are going to be the clear villain, and also reason why social media is the true villain in all of our lives. And also we've got a bookmark here with a tassel, which is fun, and this cover is so gorgeous and I love it, and it's beautiful, and that's half the reason I engaged it, and this matches so nicely. But here we have, it should have been a trip of a lifetime, because this book is set as a group of students on like a study abroad on a cruise ship semester kind of thing, then the sea provides but only if you feed it, which is a quote that comes up so often in the book, like minimum once a chapter, usually multiple times a chapter, sometimes multiple times a page. And then we have some information about the author, and it says it's coming out in July, July 2023. What? Why does it say it comes out July 2023? I thought it came out like February. So anyway, on to the review. I was originally drawn to the book because I'm going through an era of horror-influenced deep sea vibes and the cover clearly lured me in. I was intrigued by the description as I was hoping for some monstrous sea creatures and for the cruise ship setting to add a sense of claustrophobia. Unfortunately, this book did not live up to my self-inflicted hype. A lot of the characters blend together to me and could be interchangeable. They're stereotypes of pretentious, privileged teenagers who have no defining characteristics. The only character who really stood out to me was the narrator, Liv, and it was for all the wrong reasons. I found her insufferable, full of desperation, but not in a way that made me feel desperate too. She flounders and repeats the same concerns for 400 plus pages, and somehow I still don't feel as if I got to know her as a person outside of repetitive concern for Will. I think I must have been skim reading through the second half of the book, so I generally can't remember if we ever found out what was really going on. Like, the cult vibes were prominent from the start, and a dark secret is mentioned in the book description, but the details are so blurry to me that I can't give a clear answer about what the actual threat to the plot is, other than social media. My biggest frustration with the book are the droplets of information that seem like they could add some important development to the characters, but are never elaborated on. The main one for me was Liv asking Will which rule of friendship they broke in a text message somewhere in the book's midpoint, but we never found out what their rules of friendship are, or which one was broken, or really what the cause and result of their fight was. It made their entire relationship feel insignificant to me, as Liv and Will didn't seem to share any actual positive friendship moments on page. Overall, a beautiful cover and an interesting premise, but a main character so insufferable that I should have put the book down many chapters earlier. I read an advanced copy of this book from NetGalley in exchange for an honest review. It does feel good in a way to be back to reviewing books, because I I do need to ramble nonsense about books for 10 minutes straight every day just for the same. Thank you so much for watching this video, please do not let my review impact your viewing and enjoyment of the book at all, these are just my thoughts, my thoughts are my own, and I was given an early copy in exchange for a review. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye!